And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher in this game, Michael King. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. All right, ready to go here. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. The wind and the pitch. That one misses, and that's how this game gets started. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second, and that's a double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here's Adley Rutschman. And first offering is fouled off. Runner leads away at second. Way high. One, one. The one one. And that one wrapped foul. And now it's one and two. Two two. No outs, runner on second. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And that skips into the dirt. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Downstairs and it misses, ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Anthony Santander at the play. Henderson, the lead runner at second. Rutschman at first with no outs. Next pitch is outside. Ball one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Higashioka takes it in for the out. And there's one down. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. One and one. Check swing, went around, and it's one and two. One out, runners at first and second. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. 
Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. So first and second with two outs. And next for the Orioles, Ryan O'Hearn. That one missed. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. The 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. One and two now. Fouls it back with two strikes. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching but you know what it's still early enough he can settle in he can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit and that is the inning Orioles strand a couple and now the Yankees will see what they can do no score you're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium and pitching in this game Dean Kremer what do you have on him it's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day when he's right he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot the same tunnel and that can make life very difficult on his opponents bottom of the first here's the veteran first baseman DJ LeMayhew. And he deals. Singing of DJ LeMay, you earned a pretty cool distinction. When he won the American League batting title with the Yankees in 2020, he became the first player in the modern era to win a batting title in both leagues. Remember, he won with the Rockies the batting title in the National League in 2016. And here it comes. Foul ball still 0-2. Yeah, and when he won that title with the Rockies, a lot of people thought it was the Denver effect and just the amount of base hits that you can get in Coors Field, but he proved everyone wrong. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Anthony Volpe will hit next. That one's in there, and that is strike one. And the 2 You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next offering down low and in the dirt. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Rutschman makes the grab. Two down. Batting third. The designated hitter. Well. So now the DH spot, Austin Wells. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Oh, that yeah. pitch in for a strike. 0 oh, 1. And there's a foul ball. And one and two. O2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Pop 
popped up left side. Henderson puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Scoreless after one. Back in New York, here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes. Why to kick the pitch? And yeah, that's outside. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Swing and a miss. One and two. On the ground to short, Volpe. Fires over to first. One out in the second. The center fielder. Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. First offering misses the mark. There's the strike. One ball, one strike. And a one one. In the air, out towards left center. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. One out, runner at second. Now here's the Orioles' DH. Jordan Wesper. Now a check on him at second. Back safely. That misses. And that is ball one. Mullins leads off second with one gone in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. One, one. Yeah, the right hater deals. That one way outside. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. No score here in the second. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Pereira moving back for this one. Makes a nice running catch. Runner tagging for third. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Here's Adam Frazier. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs with a runner at third. That's in there, and that's strike two. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And that's outside. Fights that one away, still one and two.
Left-handed hitter waits. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And the pitch. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Next one is off the plate. And now it's three and two. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. This one popped up. Volpe on the move. He's got it. And that is that. One left for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back for more from the Bronx. Bottom of the inning. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. And the right hander back to work. And that one no, missing low. Ball. In the air, right field. Santander drifts towards it. And a quick out, number one. That is good. Isaiah Kiner for left up to the plate. That Good. one's in there, 0 and 1. Now 1 and oh. 1. 1 and 1. In for a strike, and the count is one and two. One and two. Lifted in the air, right field. Santander drifts towards it. Snags it for the second out. Batting six. The right fielder, Oswaldo. And the batter now, Oswaldo Cabrera. And that one is inside ball one. The one one. Slice the other way and foul. One and two here. Out towards left center. Hayes has it sized up. Brings it in for the third out. Yanks held in check. We'll move to the third with no score. Back now in the Bronx. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. The wind of the pitch. It's good speed at the top oh. of the order here. You want to get it on. See if One you can ball, get a no stolen strike. base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offering is in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. And the righty deals. 
And now the count filled up three and two. Count is full. On the ground at first. And he handles it himself for the out. Here's the catcher to hit, Adley Rutschman. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, Whoa, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some snogs, some home run. Hit hard, base hit. He was all over that one. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. So up next, Anthony Santander. Line drive, that's a base hit. Around second is Rutschman. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Mount Castle stands in now, looks at that one inside. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Runners are at the corners, one away. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first. And Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and it's 1-0. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Two on, one out. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. Popped out and foul ground first time through. On the ground right side. Stops it on a slide. Fires to second for one. Well, they had the chance to turn in two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the balls. He tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. And now it's Austin Hayes. Grounded out his first time up. In there, and it's 0-1. Runners on first and third, two away. Ground ball up the middle. Peraza, jump throw. They limit the damage here. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium, now here is Oswald Peraza. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Reaches for it, but it's foul. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Looking to get the tying run on base. 
Swing and a miss. He struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And here is Everson Pereira. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he won around just enough that time. Next one is off the play. One and one. There's the swing and a miss. Two gone now. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And now it's Esteban Florial. That hits the That's dirt, the and it's 1-0. Oh. And another Bill, ball. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. And that one in the air center field. And that will end the inning. So the Yanks go in order, and it remains 1 0. Back in the Bronx, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. And the pitch. And he pumps in a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Luke Weaver getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Number 29 warming up as well. Next offering is in the dirt. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Next pitch in the dirt. And the count's even at two. Line drive caught. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Westberg, the next to hit, takes outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. That's a little bit low. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And he walked him. Ball four. Take your base. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And now Adam Frazier, 0 for 1 so far. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. 
Westberg leads off first with one away. Frazier checks his swing. Appeal down to third. He did not go around. Left hand batter waits. He goes down looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Gunnar Henderson. And that one is lifted in the air. Pereira flashes the leather on the run and catch. And the Orioles leave one, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, ready to go, bottom four. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. Kremer back to work. Ball one there. That one is absolutely belted. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Mullins whips it back in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. He popped out to the catcher his first time off. In there for strike one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The 0 1. And there's a ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. 1 and 1. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Well, that's a smart decision to hold up with one out and the heart of the order coming up. Don't want to run into an out at home plate. Now up is the Yankees DH, Austin Wells. He popped out his first time. That's in for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's not again two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one on the first, but he beats it. And a run scores. Well, he had the chance to turn in two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. Fly ball down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. And that one fouled off.
on the ground right side down the line and it's foul. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. Fouls it off. Still one and two. The pitch. Ground ball right side. Feed to second. That's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. So they get one run. Two hits. No errors. And nobody left on. We played four. All tied 1-1. New inning getting started. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. The wind of the pitch. In the air to left center, Pereira on the move to the gap. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Then there's one down. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. One for two. And the first offering is not close. Just off the outside part of the plate. 2-0. That one ripped, but foul. And that's outside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Up the middle. In plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. First pitch, well. not close. And that one is inside. Hammer, base hit. Everything came together for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Substitution being made at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Jorge Mateo. Ryan O'Hearn digs in now. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Two outs. That's inside. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. That one catches the corner for a strike. That pitch gets the inside corner. That is strike two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. One left for the Orioles. Still tied. 1-1.
Now into the ball game on defense, Jorge Mateo. He's in at shortstop. So digging in, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Slide to right his first time. And he deals. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. That's off the mark. Now one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Next one misses, no, and it's two and two. Good eye right there. Struck him out looking. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Glide out his first time. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That ball's carrying. Out of here! Ball game! That's gotta feel good, and they will walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.